An astonishing 90% of Albertans have at least one risk factor for heart disease or stroke, but the Heart and Stroke Calendar Lottery is hoping to change all of that by improving the health of all Canadians. The Calendar Lottery campaign is underway, and Dr. Michael Hill from the Foundation is here to tell us about it. That's kind of a staggering statistic. I bet you don't like that. No, none of us do. Um, but it's it's the it's the commonest cause of uh, of death in our society. So it's not surprising it's so high. Uh, yeah, the Heart and Stroke Foundation is uh, a, has a big campaign that has a lot to do with awareness. So what yeah. are we not picking up here? No, I, I don't think we're not picking up things. Where where the Heart and Stroke Foundation is focused on two broad areas. One is you know, getting people to know about their own their own risks, and then and then responding accordingly, and funding research to try and make the try and make the situation better. Well, some risk factors um, may be somewhat unavoidable. Some are, though. Yep. So let's let's talk about sure. about both of those. What are the the risk factors that we can ourselves be in control of? Right. Well, I guess the first the first thing, if I can step back and say, is there are some things that you can't choose. You can't sure. choose your parents. So you have some genetic. Uh, predisposition to certain conditions in your in your health over your life and you can't change those but there are things we can do um, probably the best thing we can do is exercise mm. right get off the chair look at us right yes. get off the chair and and get out there to run to uh, to swim to walk to hike those are the probably the probably the most important thing you can do and everybody can can do that uh, diet's important, right? So, so the things we choose to eat. We were talking about McRibs earlier, <laughs> and they're not <laughs> so good we, for you. Why were you reading Andrew Schultz? Yes. Yeah, so, okay, controlling sure. our intake of food, um, living healthier lives. Yep. Uh, and what about the the research that the Heart and Stroke Foundation uh, does? I, it has to be mm -hmm. so. So it's broad, right? Yeah. We actually have a, a strong um, history in, in Alberta and in Canada in general, and in, in doing research on heart disease and stroke. And so some of the things, for example, we're just talking about, we have a very strong, strong um, research on salt. So, mm -hmm. so sodium intake, the amount of salt that we, intake, in, in, that we take in is mm -hmm. really important for blood pressure, which is a major risk factor for stroke and an important risk factor for heart disease. So that there's an example, but there's many, many, many examples from all across the country. So such a huge area yeah. of study and yeah. therefore a, a massive amount of finances yeah. would sure. be required. So. Sure. Um, this is in its second year as a fundraiser. So let's talk about where the money goes exactly. Sure. So the, the you're right, it's the second year in Alberta, but there have been lotteries in other provinces across the country for since way back to the mid-90s. And they've been very successful over uh, raising um, something in the order of a couple hundred million dollars for research. So the money, the money goes to these two broad mandates of the Heart and Stroke Foundation. One is uh, public awareness for, for understanding uh, the disease for the public, and then and then and then the research endeavor. And research is the way it's funded is, is that a researcher like myself would submit a grant. Mm -hmm. It would be reviewed by a, uh, by a, an external panel of experts, and if it's judged to be uh, a meeting a high enough standard, then there, then you would get funding for that research. What is your area of specific stroke, stroke. stroke specifically? Yeah. yeah. Um, now the calendar uh, lottery works. How you buy a calendar and then what? Yeah. So you buy a calendar, and uh, I th they're about they're twenty five dollars each, I think, mm -hmm. and then there's there's a slightly less if you buy more, um, and then essentially it's a it's a lottery where you have a chance to win every day over the course of the ensuing year. So you pay up front, and then there's it's like buying a ticket for a whole year. It's a ticket that tells you the date, so it's, it works very well. Right. And of course, funds uh, this extraordinary research right. um, and uh, and awareness campaign. Now, BT, along with the Heart and Stroke Foundation want to give the gift of health and happiness to some lucky BT viewers. Every day this week, we're going to be giving away a heart and stroke lottery calendar. The calendar can be your ticket to cash prizes every day of the year, including $3,000 every day, $10,000 every week, $20,000 every month, and much more. To enter for your chance to win, um, go to breakfasttelevision.ca, click on contest, head for daily prizing. Lucky entry number 47 will be today's winner. No purchase necessary. Full rules at breakfasttelevision.ca, as always. And Dr. Hill, anything else you want to put out there before before we wrap this up? I just encourage everybody to uh, to get active and to know your blood pressure. Aha! Uh -huh. Starting at what age, by the way, do we need to start? Our age. <laughs> you and me. Our age. You mean thirty? <laughs> nice to meet you. Thanks for coming in, Dr. Hill.